Hey viewers, welcome to You Flyer, your one-stop channel for all kinds of IELTS materials and general English. Today we are going to discuss about a very important topic associated with IELTS writing module. It has been seen that test takers find it difficult in writing task 2, that is essay writing. Today we will discuss and give you guidance on how you should approach task 2 essay writing. Before starting with the video, for those who all are new to the channel and those who had not yet subscribed the channel, click the subscribe button and press the bell button so that you never miss an update. Please like the video if you find it helpful. Please watch the video till the end, we are 100% sure it will change your perspective on essay writing. Without any further delay let's start today's video. The first question that should come in your mind should be, how to plan a task to essay? If you are trying to attempt an IELTS essay without planning, it will be like going on a globe trotting without a map. Spending a few minutes for planning the essay will result in an easy to follow track which will help you produce a perfect introduction and eventually ending it with a superb conclusion and finally a coveted band score. Thus, you must know the reasons for planning the essay. There are several reasons behind the same. Number 1. Essay planning helps in managing time efficiently. You should use 40 minutes of the total time for writing an essay and it is suggested to use 15 minutes for planning the same so that you don't face inadequacy of ideas while writing. Number 2. Planning helps to achieve task response. As the exam taker you must answer to all the parts of the topic you are asked to write. For this you need to present well-developed relevant ideas, planning can help you cover all that. Number 3. Planning helps to achieve better scores in coherence and cohesion. Planning helps to organize the ideas into a logical sequence in different paragraphs by using linking words appropriately. Number 4. Planning saves you from making grammatical mistakes. As you are ready with your ideas and structure before you start writing, you will have sufficient time to focus on getting your grammar correct, which actually helps you to write more accurately and efficiently. Now we are going to discuss few simple steps you should follow while planning for your IELTS writing task to essay. Number 1. Read and analyze the question. Read the given question minutely to correctly understand the topic words, keywords, and instruction words. Number 2 is Foster ideas After reading and understanding the questioning statement, start thinking about the same and accumulate the ideas that pop up in your brain, nurture them and allow a rethink so that you can develop your main points and supporting points. To get the main point, ask yourself why to your viewpoint, the answer will be your main point and ask how to your main point to get the supporting points. For example, some people think that government should ban dangerous sports such as skydiving and rock climbing. Do you agree or disagree? Yeah, if you support that government should forbid such risky games, you need to ask yourself why should government ban these sports. In the answer, you will get so many solutions like it can cause accidents, it may cause serious health issues to some people, and so on. Now, generalize them and make one point. It can be like, these games can bring fatal accidents. You can use it as your main point. Next, ask how those sports bring fatal accidents. The answers will be your supporting point. Like lack of training, physically unfit, lack of knowledge, dangerous terrain, and so on. Number three will be, recall the synonyms. To achieve a good score in lexical resource, you need to avoid repetition of words. Thus, you need to hark back the vocabulary you have. Number 4. Plan the structure. Now, finally, you have to plan the structure of the given essay. But before that you have to know that there are two types of essays. Number 1. Opinion essay. These types of essays always have a tag question that consists of you or your as a word. 
For example, students in schools and universities learn more from their teachers than through other means such as the internet, libraries, and TV. To what extent you agree or disagree? Now, the topic words, keywords and instruction words are needed to be found. Topic word, it is the words that inform about the general subject of the question. In the given example, the topic words are highlighted in orange color. Keywords, identifying the keywords will help you to write about the topic in the correct direction. The keywords are highlighted in blue color. Instruction words, the instruction words help you to know about the types of essays. These words are depicted in green color. As there is the U word given in the instruction, we consider it an opinion essay. Number 2. Non-opinion essay. There are five types of non-opinion essays in ILTS. They are as below. 1. Discuss the advantages and disadvantages essay. 2. Discuss the advantages outweigh the disadvantages essay. 3. Discuss the problem and the solution essay. 4. Discuss cause and solution essay. 5. Discuss both views of the essay. These above mentioned essays generally do not ask you to give your views, but in case it is asked in the instruction words, you have to provide your opinion. For example, an increasing number of 18-year-olds are moving out of their parents' homes so they can live on their own after finishing high school. What are the advantages and disadvantages of this trend? In this question you can find know you among the instruction words, so you must not put your view here and rather write the full essay from the third person view. Now, look into this example. Some people believe that individuals who earn a lot of money are the most successful. Others say that the individuals who contribute to society, such as scientists or teachers, are the most successful. Discuss both views and give your own opinion. In this, you can see the word your among the instruction words, so it clearly means that you need to put forward your viewpoint, though the essay is a non-opinion type. Number 5. Review. Try to finish your essay writing within 35 minutes so that there will be 5 minutes to recheck your work before submission. Number 6. Using formal language. In this time of SMS and other chat applications, it is quite a common issue to use informal expressions and shorthand texts. However, this practice is strictly prohibited for the IELTS examination. Using inappropriate language or terminologies might offend the examiner and thus, your score will again suffer. So you should use formal language in your writing task. Number 7. Complete your answer. IELTS test is meant to assess your English language skills. If you leave the answer incomplete, the examiner will not be able to judge your skills. As a result, he or she will grade you poorly. So, instead of writing bullet points or short sentences, you must formulate each point in a separate paragraph with two to three lines of explanation. This way you can showcase your writing skills and create a good impact on the examiner to score better. Now that you are acquainted with enough knowledge, it will be easier for you to achieve your desired band score. Be clear and precise in expressing your ideas and its suitable examples to enhance your writing. Ensure that you go through these tips thoroughly and put them into regular practice. That is all we had for today. Hope you all liked the video. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe our channel to get this kind of informative videos in future.